Hi, welcome to Market Update for September 22nd. Well, as we go into this last full week of September, keep in mind that we do have the end of the month next week. It's the T plus three. Of course, it's not only the end of the month, it's also the end of the quarter. And this is a quarter where we have been seeing new all-time highs. Now, keep in mind, this 2500 level, which the S&P seems to be working around quite a bit, is a target that was set by a lot of technicians earlier in the year. And here we are in September having hit that target. So as we hit the end of the quarter, let's see if indeed we do see an unwinding of some of these risk on trades, taking some of that money off. Remember, targets are set for a reason and a lot of technicians have to abide by those targets. Now, going into this weekend, in particular, let's pay attention to the politics that are playing a part of the pricing. Whether it's geopolitics, North Korea with their sable rattling, or whether it's domestic politics, anything that might come out of any tweet. And on the other side of the pond, we do also have an election in Germany. Let's pay attention to the hard right and see if they end up capturing any seats. So all of this is really going to play into the markets, especially at a time where we do have a quiet session yesterday with the Jewish holiday and of course the coming Jewish holiday in another few days. So all of that is going to play a role in not only the liquidity of the market, but also of course the direction of what happens into the last quarter of the year. This is Jack Berugian from the CME Group in Chicago.